Gentlemen, I'm Kenneth Allen, General Manager in Sodexo's Campus Services at Buena Vista University and a longtime employee with Sodexo's Education Department and Campus Dining for the past 17 years. Buena Vista University continues to provide several opportunities where students can participate and have an opportunity to first-hand experience Etiquette 101 in both the reception and dining atmosphere. These events include the Art of the Reception and Dining with Distinction, also known as the Etiquette Dinner. More often than not, men do not know how to be a gentleman. They struggle with the task of looking good and classy. To be a gentleman is to have that aura around you. It is the quality that you present and leaves a good impression from other people. Men learn too late of this quality or never at all. And it is one of the reasons you hear women say, chivalry is dead. I'm here to tell you how to be a gentleman, how to teach you the three keys to achieve this quality. The first key is to have fash a fashion sense. To be a gentleman is to always look good in what you wear and to dress to impress, whether it's casual dress, business, or professional. A casual outfit is something that you wear around town or going about your business, but you're still able to present that aura. It's both easy and comfortable. One casual outfit is, always works is the black polo shirt, khaki shorts, and sneakers. A black polo always gives, that, gives off that great style that is bold and masculine. If you want to stand out a little more, another casual outfit is the floral shirt combo. This outfit is a great choice for spring and summertime and is colorful. The next level up fashion is the business style. When it comes to business, this is where gentlemen thrive in dressing up and showing off their style. A business outfit can range from casual to professional with key items of accessories that make all the difference. One key accessory in the business outfit is the shoes. A leather shoe, dress shoe, is elegant and classy. It will do just the trick to show off your style and bring your outfit to another level. Just make sure that the belt matches the shoes. More items that make a business outfit or are a dress shirt, dress pants, vest, blazer, or sweater. This outfit is great because it can pass as professional in the office. Your boss won't get mad at you because you're dressing down in the office and you won't have to worry about being too dressed up if you want to go out to the bar after work. Finally, what turns every business casual outfit into a professional outfit is the tie. The tie is what separates the boys from the men. It is the last, if not the most, important accessory to be a professional in the business world and show off your style. And if you do add a tie, the tie clip in there, it should be worn between the third and fourth button from the neck. One of the best skills a gentleman has is fashion. It's the ability to go from professional to casual and vice versa in the snap of the finger. Take off the vest or blazer, take off the tie, open up the neck, roll up the sleeves, and you are ready to go out casually. The last thing I would like to add about fashion is the universal saying that makes the gentleman point. Dress good, feel good. Second key is to be gentleman in obtaining that aura, is having good manners. First impressions are everything. And after all, you only get one chance at it. Presenting good manners will reward you with a great first impression from just about anybody and will make the person think positively about you for a long time. Manners can reward you with meeting other people and networking to great heights, leading to more success down the road. A gentleman can express good manners in the, in the form of a firm handshake, keeping eye contact in conversation, complimenting people, 
opening doors for others and more. A gentleman says please every time he is asking for something, no matter how big or how small the act is. Hi, can I get a medium ice cream latte with skim milk, please? Please and thank you are such simple words, but they have such profound power in them. Here's your latte. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. A gentleman does not use profanity. Cursing is very, a very bad habit to be in, and it can utterly destroy your credibility. If a man curses, no one will take him seriously. There is no need to use profanity. To get your point across, simply use dignity and respect to express yourself. And it will be so much better for you. Gossip is such a toxic and unhealthy thing to do. A gentleman tries to always speak in a positive manner and never in a negative or hateful way. As the saying goes, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Do you want others to put you down and gossip about you? No. So don't do it to them. A book I, I highly recommend you to read is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. It is a great book that teaches you how to treat people and others with respect, to see things from others' point of view, and of course, good manners. Manners are important. They show the character of a gentleman and the integrity of that character. A quote from the film Kingsman, The Secret Service, Manners maketh man. The third and final key being a gentleman is confidence. People see a gentleman with confidence and it turns their heads. Confidence in yourself is important and crucial in becoming not only a gentleman, but also the best version of yourself. The way a gentleman shows confidence is by knowing what you are doing, whether it is sports, academics, or talent. Stay calm in that activity and show your strength. Walk in a sense of purpose. Show others that you are a man of willpower and that you are strong. A tip is to stand up straight and smile. Another big way of showing off confidence comes back to the first key, fashion. As the saying goes, look good, feel good. It also applies here. When you wear a nice outfit, especially if it's your favorite outfit, you automatically feel better about yourself and exert more confidence. A great way to have more confidence in yourself is to be grateful for what you have in life, if you look around, you see the opportunities you are given, and there's nothing else to do other than to be grateful for those things. Finally, one of the best ways to have confidence is love yourself. Love the person you are and who you can become in the future. There is no greater feeling than to see the persons in the mirror and love that person for who they are. So now that you have learned these three keys, fashion, manners, and confidence, you have what it takes to be a gentleman and show the world that you are the man with that quality, that aura, and show that chivalry is not dead. Thank you. <laughs>